Rusty Quill presents Trice Forgotten, Episode 9, Raised Aloft. I'm not a baby, Nani, and we're supposed to speak English at home. One day you will look back on days like this and wish you still had your Nani to pamper her baby with lullabies. It's not pampering if you don't let me do any of the fun parts. Fun parts? Cooking is cooking, Patia. If that means I never have to grind rice again. Who ever heard of such a lazy child? We could buy bread at the market. You can eat their bread when you're in their camp. In my house, you eat my food. Ugh. Nani, do you ever wish you were still back in Bengal? Now he's so sick of me, he wants to send me back. No. I just... you don't talk about it. Do you miss it? What is to miss? I saw as much of Opa Bangla as I have seen of Kali Tevu. You don't remember it at all? Domestic servant to Governor Peters, property of here, kill. They all have marble floors to sweep and silk bedding to clean. Who has the time to make memories? It was green, and gold, and beautiful, and I was just a child. But it hurts to pine for a place and for people you can never return to. It is my only hope that you make it through this life without experiencing that, my child. But sad thoughts will spoil the food. Tell me. Did something nice happen to you today? Uh, Sergeant Cory came to see me. Oh? He said he's seen my maps and he was going to personally hand them to Lieutenant Colonel Shaw. Did he tell you when he was going to do that? Only that the level of detail in them was a sure way to get myself recognized. He really seemed to think that if this operation they're planning is successful, they might employ me as a real cartographer. And then you ride that glory across the sea to Cambridge, to this Queen's Museum. That's what Private Pearson said. I see. Kuka? Hmm. Be careful. For me. Hiding, Siva? Really? That's not very mature of you, I must say. (laughs) 
Surrender yourself immediately or suffer the consequences, Siva. Bollocks. Guards! Quickly, he's escaped. <sighs> Plan. Escape the scary prison room. Step one. Hide in the rafters like you're in the bird's nest and Captain Elastes is angry at you. Complete. Step two. Hope Mary leaves the door open. Also complete. Step three. Carefully. Carefully. Look in the corridor. <sighs> Empty. But not for long. Shh. Siva. Be quick. Be quiet. You can do this. You're late. We thought you'd been captured. I'm not used to mountain climbing in this humidity. Did you find anything? I took this from one of the soldiers' camps. I think it's some kind of receipt, but I can't read it. You? Some reports about a dread pirate roaming about, kicking doors in and smashing skulls. Dread pirate? <gasps> Gammon and Anne? Or Orestes. What? I'm just saying, she disappeared on us to do who knows what, and two days later an angry stranger is beating up locals. Can I see that paper you took, no? More food, more ammo. Didn't you say? Food, ammo, supplies. Aye, that's what the soldiers on the other side of the island were lugging to. A lot of supplies for a supposedly empty house. Seems like something's happening at this Governor Peter's house. We really need to get out of here. We need to find Siva and Alestis. And the only place we've yet to check is the governor's house. What's to say? They're still here. They might have been carted off to some other island. Hell, Siva might be halfway to England by now. Siva wouldn't leave, Inez. Not without saying goodbye. He wouldn't abandon you if you were the one missing. Uh, fine. But we get in. We do one look around the place, and then we're sailing away from this whole mess. Left or right? Left or right? Oh, come on, Siva. It's an easy question. Left or right? Oh, come on. Come on the stairs, around the way, and then the window of the boat bow. Boat. Starboard left. <sighs> oh, zigzag. Just like Alestes. Zigzag as you run. And hide. Zigzag. Run. And hide. Run. <sighs> hide. 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 It's just a matter of time until we find him, Lady Peters. He can't have gone far. Shh! Don't just stand there. Come on! Yes, ma'am. <sighs> I've only got... The one gun, it's uh, not recently used. I don't know if it will shoot properly, but it might be good to have in case. Great, add it to the weapon bag. The, the what? The weapon bag. <coughs> what, what, what is all this? Weapons? Poisons, toxins, armor plating, all bio-natural of course. Nothing complete yet. I thought you were a naturalist. I am. Who's this? 
Oh, an improvised explosive I've been tinkering with. You've been making explosives on your ship? The ship is made of wood. It's flammable. Where did you even get gunpowder? Safer found it while we were making more room for the aquarium. Some of it was a bit damp, but most of it lights properly. Now is not the time. We're going to have a serious conversation about this when we get back. Yes, Dad. You carry the pack, Nor. I'll give me and the old man easier access. <sighs> Ready? Ready. Ready. nowhere to ply my men with food and cricket. Just one step to the left, sure, you're blocking my view. And masquerading as a generous governor will not make up for years of unequivocal incompetence followed by unexplained absence. I think I'm being plenty generous, considering you ransacked my house. There was a rat infestation. We exterminated it. I'm sorry that your walls now sport some bullet holes, but a gracious thank you would go a long way. And did you catch who you were looking for, Lieutenant Colonel? The needs of the Crown come before any of its servants. A real governor would understand that. Ah, a real governor. So, in short, your brutish soldiers tore up my house and did not catch the rebel scum apparently occupying my estate. It sounds to me like you're in need of a governor like me. That's right, Georgie. You show those bastards how it's done. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, I'm done with you. You're dismissed. <laughs> you don't have the power to dismiss me, Graham. This is still my property, is it not? Sure. For now. Here! You, boy! You, yes, you... How, um, can I help, sir? Pour the tea, and it's the full title when you address me. Sorry, sir. Governor Peters or your lordship? Yes, your lordship. You, Blood? Uh, yes, your lordship. But, uh, my grandmother, she used to work for you. Keeping it in the family, eh? Did you know her, sir? Her name was... That's it! Right over their heads! Ah! Uh, you enjoy cricket, my boy? Yes, your lordship. Friendly match, single innings each, 20 overs max. I'm sure you have the foggiest what I'm saying, eh? I grasp the basics, your lordship. Ah! Ah, that's Lieutenant George out. Struggling a bit out here, poor fellow. I'm told he lost a limb in some dreadful attack by a pack of rabid pirates. A pack of... Oh. You needn't turn away like that. It's not as if he's grown a second bloody head. Oh, look at the wind-up on that fellow. What I wouldn't give for arms like his. Well, I suppose that's what you get for being a soldier, eh? My apologies, your lordship. I have duties elsewhere. Nonsense. You're my boy. I tell you where your duties are. You know, I used to be quite the batsman myself. Can't fathom playing out here, though, in this dismal heat. The boys must be sweating through their whites. Christ, I'm sitting in a puddle of the stuff and I'm just watching. <laughs> but we can't complain, can we? Not when we're just moments away from taking it all back. And then, in just a few short weeks, we'll be back in the damp and the drizzle, reminiscing about the blasted sun. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Governor Peters. Will that be all, or...? You're a very good listener, my boy. I like you. Thank you, your lordship. Ah, and there she is. Woman of the hour. I see you've got a new boy. 
Come now, dear child. A hello wouldn't do you any harm. This is private. Dismiss the servant. No, no. I like him. He's my new confidant. Didn't you hear me? I said go. Uh, yes. No, uh, 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 whatever I hear, he hears. None of the locals wanted to talk. That's your confidential information? That you've gone soft? Whoever she is, she's got them all scared silent. My Alestes would have had this matter wrapped up in hours, not days. I am not and have never been your anything. You know Governor Peters? Governor Peters? Jumping the gun, aren't we, gammon? Gammon? Gammon, Alestes, really. It's not a kind nickname. You should know better than to hurt my feelings like that. Once your governorship is restated, you can force me to call you whatever you want. (laughs) We both know I've never been able to force you to do anything, my dear. But if you're... Gammon is the governor. Not for a long time. No need to be so snide about it. And you... You're just sitting here, drinking tea and watching the cricket. Your servant asks a lot of questions. He should know when to keep his mouth shut. Yes, uh, miss. Tea and cricket on the lawn is exactly where I should be. The rest is all necessity. A way to earn the life I deserve. As if you've ever gotten your own hands dirty. Come, Alestes, please. Let's not fight when we've barely seen one another in so long. Tell me, the turtles, how did they fare? Oh, don't look at me like that. Imagine my delight to hear you'd actually gone digging. I couldn't have asked for a better going away present. Ah, ah, ah. You're surrounded by soldiers, my sweet girl. That'd be a boring way to go. I've taken them before, I'll take them again. So much hurt pride over a harmless little prank. I'm going to kill you. No, you're not. It looks like tat to me, but it must be important to you to sell it for a slice of the quiet life. I'll return the plate and I'll reinstate free trade in every port you're blacklisted in, and all you have to do is tell me what you really found out about this Johanna woman. Johanna? Sorry, I'm, I'm needed in the kitchen now. Don't move. Tell me. You know who Johanna is? Uh, I, 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 uh... Don't look at her, look at me. I'll take him inside and interrogate him. I don't have time for your tactics, Lesties. If you're going to make him talk, do it here. Will you... Will you really clear the captain's name if I tell you? Hanji. You don't work here, do you? Promise me you'll give the captain her, uh, plate back, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about Johanna. Think about what you're saying. There you are. Not now, Mary. This is the one I was telling you about, Graham, with the maps. This is the cartographer? It is. And why, pray tell, is the person upon whom our future hinges pouring my tea, Mary? He he decided to go for a walk. He decided to go for... Incapable of locking a bloody door now, are we? I did lock it. He... Just enough! I don't want to hear don't it! Don't you dare enough me. You may be able to silence your little pirate buddies, but you will not speak to me like that. I will speak to you however I wish, sister dearest. And where the hell do you two think you're going? Sounded like you were in the middle of something. Privacy is important when... To Quiet! Quiet. Hmm. You know, boy, I've been looking for you for a while now. Your maps really are splendid. The level of detail in them and the... Quaint little personal touches, doodles in the corner, grabby little curried fingerprints, so charming. And when I asked who made the map that nearly destroyed years of hard work, colour me shocked to find it was some schoolboy apprentice. The look on his useless face when Annie separated him from his precious money makers. Private Pearson! No! But now, here you are, the real man of the match. Another boy's fingers cleaved in vain. A shame. Mm. Stolen valour and all that. I... but... why? It's just a map! Oh, my dear boy. Just a map? 
A map that shows every tactical retreat, every curve, every hill, every place to hide on my island. Thank God I was sleeping in the cabin on the other side of the world. They used my map to organize the raid. Well, of course. You did make it under the command of the Lieutenant Colonel. Not so they could... I just like making maps! Let me understand. You created a tool of war, and you are surprised it was fit for purpose? Tell me, you honestly didn't know that Graham Peters and Captain Gammon were the same man? You didn't organize the raid to poison my name with the British? No. Do you even work for Johanna? No. But you do know her, and she hasn't told you. Which means either she doesn't know herself, or you're not high up in command. See? Now we're in better territory. You are an excellent cartographer, and I'm not so egotistical that I'd kill a man of your talents without an offer first. Tell me what you know of Johanna, and you can be my personal map. She was a servant. I am trying to talk to the boy, Alestes. There's no grand plot to take you down. Just some old, childless, busybody servant with nothing to do with her time but spy. Go on. She created the fly fishes to seem bigger than herself. The locals say she died in the raid with the others. They weren't scared to talk. They just didn't care about what she was trying to do. They say that her rebellion died in this house along with her memory and that it should stay that way. Hmm... It's a very convenient story if it's the truth. It is. And you know I'd be able to find you if this turns out to be one of your games. Anything else? That's it. Well, what an anticlimax. Here I was hoping to choke the woman to death myself. How can you say those things about... Siva. She wasn't just some... Siva. No! We don't have time for this. Get your ass over here, we're leaving. I... I don't want to go with you. Siva, look at me. Come now, or I'm leaving without you. Oh, now, there's a precious fellow. Has the scary woman made you cry? For crying out loud. I... I need... I need to think. I, I need... I know exactly what you need. Some space and a nice cup of tea with someone who listens to you. Isn't that right, son? Take him inside, Mary. Siva! Siva, you take one more step and I'm not coming to save you again. It's always nice to find someone reasonable in this blasted place. That pathetic piss on tadpole. Well, enough entertainment for the day, I think. Go and die, gammon. Oh, I nearly forgot your plate. No! I don't like punishing you, Miss Celestes. But you really do have to realise that your actions lead to consequences. Don't threaten me again. I'll be seeing you. Isn't that... Alestes? Oh, get off, Baker. Uh, we've been looking all over for you. You're cashing. Are you injured? I'm fine. You escaped. Something like that. Did you see Siva in there? I'll tell you on the ship. If he's in there, shouldn't we... I said... Let's go. Let's all calm down. Hey, Alestes, take a deep breath. What did you do? Don't take that tone with me. You left him there! What did they want him for? More maps? Or just another boy for their collection? Venus. How much was he worth, huh? Gold? A private island? I didn't sell him. He chose to stay. He... chose to stay? Do you have cloth for ears? Yes. He chose them. End of story. <laughs> Likely story. You shouldn't run your mouth about things you don't understand. We understand Siva. 
And he wouldn't abandon you for gold. Listen carefully. I've had a long day. Either you shut your mouths and sail away in silence, or stay here making accusations and we never see one another again. We're going to get Siva. Do whatever you want. Rush in there, ask him why he chose them over us. Ask him if he's the innocent little soul he's been pretending to be, and how long he thinks he can keep playing us. Play us? Alistair, what are you talking about? She's just saying whatever makes her feel like less of an asshole. Don't come running to me when you find out the truth, because my ship will be long gone. You can't just... All our stuff's on the ship. I'm the captain. I can do whatever I want. Our captain respects their crew. I don't have a crew. Let's go. Where are you going, Nor? You still owe me five months' worth of labor. The next time we meet, you may call that debt upon me. Baker? As you'd say, Alistair, you don't have a crew. But I do. If Siva's in trouble, then that's where I needed it. Fine. Get shot and die, all of you. See if I care. See if I... Uh, 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 oh. No. Not now. <sighs> Price Forgotten is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by Nemo Martin and directed by Rafaela Marcus. Today's episode was written by Nemo Martin and edited by Nico Vitesse, Catherine Seaton and Catherine Renella. Price Forgotten features Rebecca Bruff, Vic Zander, Shahan Hamza, Ashley Goh, Gigi Zahir, Tim Meredith, Mez Galaria, Lori Ann Davis, Helen Gould, and Ben Meredith. Trice Forgotten is produced by Ian Gears, Lori Ann Davis, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Summer. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at The Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook, or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening.